Imagine having access to the latest AI models, whether it's for videos, images, or LLMs, all inside a simple chat window. A space where you can create just by talking to an agent built specifically for your needs. Maybe you're launching a brand and need more help with everything from logo design and product ideas to social media visuals, or maybe you want to easily generate thumbnails, create your own AI influencer that can speak, or produce videos that seamlessly stitch together with music automatically. Now, imagine doing all that by chatting in a single space. That's what's now possible with Glyph Agents, a new way to build and use custom AI workflows all within Glyph. Agents let you choose a chat engine, define how it behaves, and plug in Glyph workflows directly from the Glyph site. You can start with a pre-built agent or fully customize your own with as much detail as you want. In this video, we'll start with the pre-made agent called Infinite Clean 2.5 built to create seamless long one take videos that went viral thanks to Fabian, the co-founder of Glyph. And after that, I'll also show you how to build a simple agent from scratch so you can see just how easy it is to make your own. All right, so if you're ready, let's get right into it. This is the agent we'll be working with. It's called Infinite Cling 2.5. You can find it in the description or just click on agents and you should see it listed here. What makes this agent special is that there's so much you can do right inside this chat. Just be aware that this agent is still in its alpha phase, but there's still so much you can do with this, so we're gonna check out what's possible. Since it's already been built, it comes with several workflows connected to it. You can even ask the agent, what image generators do you have access to? And it'll give you a list. The reason it knows these models is because the workflows are integrated into the agent. And to see which ones are already included, just click on Remix Agents and go to Workflows. Here you'll see there are about 40 workflows integrated. These give you the ability to generate images, videos, music, text-to-speech, and much more. A useful trick is comparing results from different image models. And this is possible because this agent has several image models integrated into it. For example, you can ask, generate a 16 by 9 image of a man seen from behind, third-person perspective riding a motorcycle through a Japanese city. And I can also ask it to show me four different results from different models. You can specify which models you want or it can just choose them for you. As you can see, I have four images generated from four different models. This is great because I could compare and choose the one I like the best. And if you're still not happy with the results, you can always ask the agent to adjust details or completely change it. When you found the image you wanna use, click on this quotation icon. This drops a link to the image into the chat so the agent knows exactly which one you've chosen. That becomes the first frame to start the video. Now I'm gonna describe what happens in the scene. For this, I'm gonna type, have the camera follow this motorcycle as it swerves between cars and makes turns on the road. It helps to be detailed, but don't stress too much about the exact wording because the language model inside the agent will enhance the prompt anyway. After waiting a bit, I get my first video. This looks good. If you run into results you don't like, just type try again. If it's way off, add more specific direction. But if it was close, sometimes it's enough to simply retry with the same prompt because the next run might nail it. The number of retries you need really depends on the model. As models get better at following prompts, the amount of iteration becomes less. The good news is that Clean 2.5 is already strong at prompt adherence, though not perfect. Once you've got a generation you like, you can continue building your sequence. For example, for the next sequence, I have the rider continue onto an elevated highway slash bridge. Something you want to keep in mind when using this agent is that since it uses the last frame of a video to continue into the next sequence, you want to make sure that the camera doesn't zoom out so much that your subject is just a small group of pixels. Because then in the next generation, your subject may look completely different since Kling doesn't have much to go by for the next part. I tend to prompt something like, keep camera locked on rider and don't zoom out, keep the shot close to the rider. You can keep repeating this as long as you like, chaining scenes together. Each time you can introduce a new prompt so the visuals evolve and bring variety as the sequence progresses. When you've made a set of clips you want to keep, select them by using the quotation icon, number them in order, and ask the agent to stitch them together. And that will grab all the clips and put them together into one long video. If you want to add music, you can tell the agent to generate a track by describing what kind of sound you want. For this demo, I want to use an instrumental track. And I'll type instrumental and also include the genre or style. When you've got a track you like, ask the agent to add it to your video. Just be sure to specify the length. For example, if your video is 30 seconds long, but the track is one minute, tell the agent to only use the first 30 seconds. That way the music doesn't continue playing when the video is done. And that's it, we've made our first video using an agent. And this is what we got.
All right, now let's try to build an agent from scratch. We're gonna keep this very simple so that you can get an idea of how this works. I also don't wanna overwhelm you with information. I'm here on the Glyph website, and if I wanna build my own agent, I go up to the top left where it says build. Then I click agent. Here we have a few options to choose from, but for today, we're gonna select create from scratch. Once here, you can name your agent, give it a handle so it's easy to find, and upload a profile image. You can either upload an image, paste a link, or generate one right here. Next is the behavior section. This is where you tell the agent what its purpose is. For example, maybe you wanna generate logos or memes, or whatever you wanna do, you describe it here. For this demo, I'll keep it simple. I'm gonna make a character creator. It would generate an image of a character, then create concept art of that character in different scenes and poses, so I can see what they look like in various circumstances and lighting. Finally, I'll add a video generator so I can animate the chosen images. For the agent name, I'm just gonna put something like character maker. And for the handle, something similar. I'll generate an image to use as the profile pic. Now under chat engine, you have a few choices, including ChatGPT, Claude, and a few others. I'll stick with Claude here. Then in instructions, I'll write this. You are a character creator and concept artist. You're responsible for creating a new character then generating concept art of that character in different scenes and lighting. Finally, you'll animate the selected image. Next, I'll set up the workflow. Step one, generate the character and wait for the user to confirm. Step two, place the character in different scenes and poses using Nano Banana. Step three, animate the selected image using Clean 2.5. I could have used any other tool here like Wand 2.2, but I'll keep it with Clean for this example. Now scroll to the workflow section and attach the actual tools. I'm gonna come here to the search bar to search for the workflows. For image generator, I'll pick Quinn, specifically Quinn image 16 by nine. Then I'll add Nano Banana for image editing, and finally Clean 2.5 for image to video animation. You can add as many workflows as you want, it's really up to you. Before saving, you can customize a couple details. For example, you can customize your chat theme. If I type here cyberpunk theme and click generate, the whole chat changes. The colors, font, and vibe match that theme. And you can keep switching it to whatever style you want. You can also add conversation starters that will pop up at the beginning of every chat, like generate a starting image or I have an existing character or whatever you like it to say to get the ball rolling. Once you've done this, you can save and finally use your agent. Let's go ahead and test it out. I'll type, create a man wielding a giant sword. The agent will then use the Quinn model to generate the image. And this is what it gave me. I think this is good. Now I'll ask, Put him in different location and poses, generate four images. Because I already set Nano Banana as part of the behavior, the agent automatically uses it for variations. It gives me four different looks of the same character. I'm gonna select one that I like and type, animate this character lifting the sword with electricity surging through it. Then press enter. The agent then uses Clean 2.5 and animates the character. And there it is. I generated my first video with an agent I customized myself. Remember, you can always go back and edit your agent, change behavior, update instructions, or refine the workflow. So it works exactly how you want. And that's our first look at Glyph Agents. Whether you're customizing your own or using something ready to go, Agents let you shape AI to fit your workflow. It's a flexible, creative way to speed things up, test your ideas, and stay in your creative flow. Try it out and see what you can come up with. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more, and until next time, take care.